Are you wanting a deeper, more intimate relationship with God? Are you in a season where you feel as though you can no longer hear His voice or feel His presence? God has not abandoned you, my friends. He is still there with you, waiting ever so patiently for you to reach out to Him. If you have come to a point in your life where you want to go deeper with the Lord, then this message is for you. You haven't come across it by accident. This is a divine interruption in your day that will bring you a blessing and leave you feeling hopeful and your faith rejuvenated. The current state of the world may cause you to wonder where God is during all the mess you see. The media shows you all the violence of the world, from the shootings in inner cities to the mass shootings in our churches, malls and places of shopping. Understand this is done purposefully. Stories of hope don't get the views the way evil does. This doesn't mean that God isn't doing miraculous things every day. Our Father is always there, even in your darkest hour. He wants to have a close relationship with you. Think of how close you are with your siblings or your best friend. When you have a secret or something you are happy about happens, this person is usually the one you tell first. Can I tell you that God wants to be the one you go to first? He already knows the good thing happened. He's the one who made it happen for you. God desires a close relationship with all his children. He gives us good things. He makes the manager hire us when we go in for that interview. He makes our supervisor give us a raise when we work diligently as unto the Lord. When God gives us these blessings, we ought to give him thanks before we tell any human about it. Give God the glory for all the good that happens in your life. It makes him happy when you do this, and he will feel closer to you as well when you acknowledge him regularly. How do you view God? Are you thirsting for him? If you were to go 24 hours without water, you would have a few things happen. You would grow weak and tired, and your lips would start to crack and chap. Now imagine going 24 hours without God. Psalm 42 verse 1 through 2 says, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. David was a man after God's own heart, and he explains it beautifully in these verses. If you are not thirsting for God, you may not feel close to Him. Psalm 63 verse 1 through 2 O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. See how David yearned for the Lord. I wonder how much we as believers cry out for God's presence in our lives. We put time and effort into our relationships in raising children. We make a night or two a week to go out and socialize, but we only sit in God's house once a week. Imagine if you only talked to your spouse once a week for an hour and ignored them all the rest of the week. That relationship would feel strained and bring you less joy and happiness than it should. My beloved brothers and sisters, we need to make God the focal point of our lives if we desire to have full relationship results. Each of us has had a person that only called on us when they needed something. You never hear from this person until they ask you for a favor or a handout of some kind. Don't do this with God. God wants you to come to Him for more than your wish list. He isn't a business consultant, although He certainly blesses those things as well. But He is so much more than that. God is the Maker of heaven and earth. His words spoke the planet into existence and he formed us out of the dust of the earth. The same God wants a personal one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with you, a deeper connection than you have with anyone. So, what are some ways you can strengthen your relationship with God? The most effective way is to seek him in prayer. How do you get to know a perfect stranger, someone you know nothing about when meeting them? You have a conversation with them, Little by little, over time, you start to build a relationship with this person. God is the same way. 
When you draw near to him in prayer, he reveals himself to you. You become more aware of his presence, and it becomes more natural for you to communicate with him. Do this throughout the day for the best results. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 20 tells us to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies. To pray without ceasing means to be aware of God's presence all day long. If your heart stays fully postured towards Him, He will stay in your thoughts, therefore He will always be near. Another way to draw closer to the Lord is to read the Bible daily. The Word of God tells us how to honor Him and how we are to serve Him. We learn about who He is through the Bible. We learn about how the people in our history served Him and all the miraculous things God did for them. We see firsthand that God is with us by reading the Word, and He reveals Himself to us through the Word. The Bible is alive and breathing and guides you through every season of your life. This is why one time you can read a section of Scripture that doesn't touch you, but another time you will read it and it moves your heart. If your spouse wrote a book about how to have a relationship with them, you would read it and be able to have a close and intimate connection with them. God's Word is much more than this. The Word of God is His promise to us that what He has done before, He can do again. Read the Bible daily and meditate on it. Let it transform you as Romans 12 too says, Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good and pleasing and perfect will. You don't take a car apart without some kind of knowledge, whether that it be from an owner's manual and YouTube video or an instruction manual of some sort. Think of the Bible as our instruction guide to how to live life serving and loving God, but also others. We learn who Jesus is and why He died for us in the Word of God. Without the Bible planted firmly in your heart, you will not feel close to the Lord. Make this a priority in your life, and everything will change. If you seek God, you will find Him. He is not hard to find. Another reason that you may be feeling far from God may be that you have some kind of sin in your life that you need to confess to Him. When we sin, we feel guilty, so instead of drawing near to Him, we pull away. Can I tell you that in your sin, God still loves you? He still wants a close and intimate relationship with you. Dare I say, that in your sin is when you need Him the most. Don't let the sin in your life push you further away. I encourage you to address it, repent of it, and run back to the arms of the Father. He's never loved you more than He loves you right now. Jesus died for that sin to be forgiven. Now I have had people say things to me like, Well, if I don't sin, Jesus died for nothing, so it's okay. I beg you, brothers and sisters, to not adopt this mindset. It is dangerous, and although there is grace, we should have a fear of the Lord to not go around willfully sinning. If you have come to the point where you are hungry for a close relationship to God, you're blessed. Run after the Father with everything you can. Remember that your relationship with God is your responsibility. It will not work if you don't put effort into it. It is not a one-way street. God wants you to pursue Him. He will reward the initiative. The life of a believer is one of sacrifice. The sacrifice means that we watch one less hour of Netflix, spend one less hour on social media, spend one less hour doing something that serves only ourselves, and we spend that hour in the presence of the Lord, praying and reading the Word of God. If you do this every day, you will start to feel closer to Him. The more you do this, the more you will desire Him. Then you will find that you spend more than an hour a day in His presence. The more you seek Him, the more you desire to seek Him.
When you feel the presence of God in your life, you yearn for more of His presence. There is nothing like the love of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, You are such a gracious Father, one who desires a relationship with all Your children. Your will is that none of Your children perish and that we will all come to serve You as our Lord. You love us enough to give us the choice of free will. This unfortunately means that some of your children will choose to reject you and not have a relationship with you. This doesn't mean that you don't love them. It means they don't love you. Help these people come to learn the truth and see why it is good to have a relationship with you. We all need a savior. Not one of us can get ourselves into heaven, no matter what we do. The only way to heaven is by accepting what Jesus did on the cross for us. Thank you, God that you made a way. I pray, Father, that all my brothers and sisters that desire to be close to you can draw nearby seeking you with all their hearts. You're not hiding from us, and you want a real relationship with us all. And for that, I'm thankful. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.